Ewok Army! What's going on today? I'm gonna be showing you how to build this house, this starter house that you see behind me, block for block, so you guys can put it in your very own Minecraft world. And a bit of a, not really a disclaimer here, but a bit of a, not of a notice. Um, it is really late at the time of recording this video, so if you notice that I'm not as enthusiastic or energetic or my voice is kind of bland, just know that it is currently 9 p.m. for me, almost 10 now, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired and I want to go to bed and I need to record this today, so the deadline soon. And yeah, just know, just be aware of that fact, so don't, Please don't get mad at me in the comment section. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Uh, well, before I get started, I do just want to mention that Crazy Monkey, or Asher, or Killer Pig, or whatever you want to call him, he helped in the creating of this video, so a big shout out to him for helping. Of course, he didn't actually do any of the building. I, I did all the building. He just kind of, kind of, he just kind of stood there. But yeah, thanks, but yeah, thanks to him, and let's get into the video. So, let's get building. Alright guys, so in terms of blocks that you will be needing, we're gonna be needing some stripped spruce logs, some oak planks, some stripped oak logs, some oak stairs, some spruce stairs, some spruce slabs, some spruce trap doors, some spruce doors, some ladders, some glass panes, and some lanterns. So, let's start building. All right, so start by finding a seven by seven clear space, and I've already done that, so let's come over here. As you can see, seven by seven, and let's start in the corner uh these logs are you guys do not need to have these logs i just have these for the sake of tutorial purposes to make it a bit easier to figure out like where i'm placing things so we're gonna start right here in the corner and we're gonna go up by six so we're gonna go one two three four five and six I just double check one two three four five and six there you go so we're gonna go over by one two three four and five and then on the sixth one over you're gonna go up by six again so we're gonna go one two three four five and six and then we're gonna go five over from here one two three four five and on the sixth one we're gonna go up by one two three four five and six now one more time we're gonna go over we're gonna go one two three four five and on the sixth one we're gonna go up by six one more time one two three four five and six and there's our main like support pillars now we're gonna come through here and right here we're gonna cr go across like a little cross beam and we're gonna do it here so basically just one up from the ground cross beam it so connect them all like so and then we're gonna go at the very top and we're gonna connect them here so we're gonna connect them in two places to have kind of more support and this is kind of, and this is a stilt house so we have them so like this is gonna be like the floor level so it's like one block above the ground and that's mainly like so mobs don't get in it's, it's uh, this is why I think of this like an ideal starter house and there we go so we have our we have our main I guess supports a main frame I suppose now we can start working on the next step all right so now that we have our frame done we're gonna go in and add our floor and walls so let's go in right here um, on oh sorry <laughs> I, I'm not very good at flying apparently or I can't minecraft so we're just gonna go to the second or the first the bottom I'll just call it the bottom bottom connection or cross beam or whatever you want to refer to it as and we're just gonna fill it in here with our oak planks and we're gonna do the same thing to the walls except we're gonna leave gaps in some of them for doors and windows so let's go ahead and show you how we do that so we're gonna go up on this side we're gonna go two and we're gonna go two on the other side our door is gonna be right here so we're not gonna put any oak planks in here and we're gonna put an oak stair on the top instead of an oak um, an, an oak uh, plank okay we're gonna go over to this side now the left side and we are going to basically just go in the outline we're not gonna fill in the blocks in the middle because that's where our windows gonna be uh, we're gonna Let's go ahead and actually just put the windows in right now. We're gonna go over to the back, and this side is gonna be completely filled in. There's not gonna be any windows or such on this side so that you have room to put like maybe a bed or chests or whatever you want on the inside. Now on the other thing, we're just gonna mirror that side. We're just gonna go around the edges with our oak planks. 
like that and there and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our glass panes now we're just gonna go through and detail it kind of like this I'll make an example on the wall so basically just kind of go through and just kind of randomly punch holes in it and then put the put your stripped oak in like random directions like so and then do that to the floor and the rest of the walls and I'll get back to you in a sec when I've done that all right guys so now that we have our framework and walls and floor in we're gonna go ahead and start with the roof so come right here to the top right corner and place a double slab or a full block whichever one you have and then we're gonna come over to the right of this and we're going to place a stair and we're gonna come on top we're gonna place another stair and we're gonna go stair and then a stair on top of it and then a stair on the side of it or under it and then a stair on top and then we're gonna leave it there for a sec we're gonna come to the other side we're gonna do a double slab in the corner and we're gonna place a stair on the side of that basically the same thing mirroring that side so we're gonna place a stair on top stair under stair on top stair under and then a stair on top and now that we're close to the middle we're gonna place a stair facing this way this is very important make sure that it's facing outwards and not like this or not like I mean not like that not like this or like this make it ha very important make sure that you have it facing this way now we're gonna come right up here at the top and we're gonna place the stair facing this way and we're gonna place the stair placing this way. And that is one side of the roof. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, basically just mirroring that side. So we're gonna place a double slab here. We're gonna place a stair, another stair, and then a stair under, and then a stair on top, and then a stair under, and then a stair on top. And then we're just gonna go and mirror that side again. We're gonna do a double slab, and a stair on the side, a stair on top, stair under, stair on top and two more stairs for this side okay now we have that we're gonna place this again make sure that this stair is facing outwards like that and then right here we're gonna go facing inwards and then another one facing outwards and this is kind of like a little overhang part like I'm not even sure what you call that but it but it definitely exists now so we're gonna go with it <laughs> So now just basically connect these sides and you'll find that this is very similar to my last tutorial, the horse stable, at least in, in the roof designs, except that there are no slabs. So it's basically the same the borders and then right at the top, just like last time, we're going to go all the way across with our spruce slabs and then we're going to fill it in with oak stairs. So like so, we're basically just going to fill in along here and we'll do it together because this won't take that long. And I'm just gonna fill in here all the way across. Let's get that. Oops. Now, oh, same thing here. Let's fill in all this. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that facing. Ah, oh my god. Oh, so sometimes that, um, the like flying, like the thing where you keep moving even after you stop pressing the button, sometimes that can be kind of annoying. Alright, so we're gonna come on the other side and fill this in just like so right here fill it in like so and then our last row like that and there is our roof design now we're gonna go and add in some more details all right guys so now we're gonna add in some detail to our build um, basically just we're, well first of all we need to come in and cover up like the underside of this uh, right here we'll just go all the way up and there and there so we have that kind of covered up so that you don't see inside the house got to keep it nice and warm you know in the winter time although you guys probably won't be staying in this house that long if it's a starter house all right so we're just gonna fill on this side too and now we basically have the main like the the main part of the house is built now we're just gonna kind of go through and add some detail so at, at the bottom at every side we're gonna place in stairs so we're gonna place a stair here on both sides of that pillar, we're going to place a stair on here and here. We're going to place stairs here and here. We're going to place stairs here and here. And now we're going to go and place stairs on the top side. So we're going to place a stair here and here. We're going to place a stair here and here. We're going to place a stair here and here. 
and we're gonna place a stair here and here now with this we're gonna get out our spruce trap doors so let's just search up spruce trap doors let's get those in here and we're basically just gonna go on top and under the stairs so we're gonna go here and here and then we're gonna go here and here just like so we're gonna do the same thing on this pillar here and here we're gonna go here and here we're gonna go here and here and then on this pillar here and here here and here ah i didn't mean to do that oh, i'm messing up today and here and here here and here oh my god i'm really messing up today all right i'm going too fast i need to slow down here and there there and there there and there and then the last side of the pillar here and here and now we're not done with trapdoors quite yet we still have to add some along here so we're gonna put in some trapdoors kind of like as a dividing section to divide those two layers just to give it some like detail and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna divide it like so and then you probably guys you probably think that we're done with trapdoors now sure you guys are saying, surely, Crazy Ewok, we're done with trapdoors now. And I'm like, no. So now we're going to go through on each side and we're going to place here. And then we're going to place one here. We're not going to place one here. We're going to place one here. We're going to place one here. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Wait, I think I messed up. Yeah, I need to place one there. All right, I forgot that one. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing right here. So we're going to go there. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. And we're going to go there. And we're going to go there. Now we're going to take our slabs. And where we didn't place the trapdoors, we're going to place our spruce slabs. So there and there. And then the other side, we're going to go here and here. Alright, so now we're going to go and add our door. And we're also going to add a lanterns and ladders. So let me search up a ladder. Let me get that. Let me search up door. Let me get the spruce door. Let me search for the, um, I, I'm already forgetting everything. Let me get the fence post. So let's get the spruce fence post. And then we need some lanterns. And you can choose whether you want to use soul fire lanterns or, um, the regular lanterns. I'm just going to use regular lanterns for the purpose of the recording. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go in, we're going to place a ladder here, and we're going to place the door right there. We're going to quickly go inside and place a double slab on the roof, just to get some light in here so that mobs don't spawn at the moment. And I press place that twice, and while we're in here, we're, let's go ahead and place in the remaining details. So, we're going to go like that, and then right there, we're going to place a slab. And then we're going to get our stairs, and we're going to come across every other row. I'm going to do the same thing opposite. So, like so. And that is essentially the interior, and I'll show you some examples of interior design for this house later. Or I'll show you an example. Alright, so now we're going to go to the outside, and we're going to light it up. And this is so mobs don't spawn, because you do not pro- you, I'm gonna guess that most of you do not want mobs spawning inside of your house if you do choose to use this for your starter house. I mean, unless you're doing a mob farm, but mob farms shouldn't be able to fit in there. Alright, so we have our lanterns on all the sides, and I do believe that is all the detail, and that is our- basically, that is our finished product. So let's cut to the scene. I will show you some examples, or one example, and well, yeah, I should probably stop talking. I'll explain it in the next clip, okay? I'm gonna shut up. Bye. See you in a sec. Wait, why am I saying bye? Okay, just whatever. Just like, go, go. Just, just cut to the next scene. Yeah, cut. Yeah, cut. Okay, there we go. Cut. Alright, guys, so after that rather dramatic, I would say, last clip, <laughs> let's- I would- I'm gonna just show you what I've got. So I've- I've, I've placed some bushes around, as you can see. Let's hit F1. I pla I've placed some bushes here as, like, some kind of hedges, but they're not really very trimmed, as you can see. I'm not- and in case you guys are wondering, I'm using a texture pack called Better Leaves to get these bushy leaves effects, so, um, Google it. I may link it in the description if I remember, but I may not, so please don't hold me to it, because I may not remember. But yeah, um, without further ado, let's go inside. Um, I also added some signs to the outside, and this isn't, um, this isn't mandatory. I just added these because I thought it looked cool. It kind of adds a bit more support, um, look to it. So if you want to, you can add some signs around the 
edges. But yeah, okay, I've been pu I'm putting it off for ages. Let's go inside, and this is just an example of a way that you can do an interior. You guys don't have to do this, you can do it anyway, but you guys can use this if you would like. And well, here is our interior. So I've gone ahead, uh, we got the lantern up there, and so I've added a little carpet on the ground. Uh, we've got our little chair over here in the corner. We've got our nice little, like, um, I would call it, like, a flower pot. And this isn't actually my design. This is, I found this on uh, Mythical Sausage's channel. I mean, I can't confirm that he is the actual creator, but I did get this design from him. So, big thanks to him for that. And we have, um, some furnaces, a bed with a little sign at the end. And we got some chests. We got a crafting table. And I did not mean to hit F3. We got a little crafting table and a flower. I'm not sure what flower that is. That's an allium. So if you guys want to know what flower that is, it's an allium. Um, I'm just going to destroy this because I don't want it. Uh, so yeah, guys, um, I suppose that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And please, 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 if you guys like these tutorials and you want to see more videos like this in the future, you have to hit the subscribe button and the like button. You have to hit them both at the same time. Can you guys do that? I bet you can't. If anyone can do that, please let me know in the comments if you can hit the likes button and the subscribe button at the same time. So I, I like to know who can do that. And well, with me telling you guys to subscribe, I would say that this has been a good video. I think it's a good video. No, it was a good video. And I hope you guys could find this useful. Also, if you guys did construct this in your world, I would love to see pictures of this in your Minecraft worlds tweaked or the same. It would be great if you guys could like send them to me on Instagram or Discord or maybe even la leave a link in the comments. I don't know. I'm not even sure if that's possible. I don't think it is. But send it to me somehow. I will take a look at it. I would love to see what you guys use this house for. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!